Okay, so, so as you can see, the nylon material is uh, very stretchy and um, flexible. Allows uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of movement, and uh, is great for sort of art art projects and anything, any sort of vases, those types of things. Really wonderful amounts of stretch and give in these. Really is a very great great material to print with. Even the uh, sort of double wall thickness. Pots, very stretchy, very squishy. Obviously, that makes it slightly, uh, slightly more flexible than, than ABS and PLA. Um, so you've got to be a little careful when designing mechanical parts, structural parts. Um, but for anything sort of that you want to have a bit of give, any sort of fabric type materials or stretchy materials, it's really wonderful for that. I'm going to do a quick destruction test on some PLA and printed nylon. This is uh, the nylon 618 and this is just some PLA and just show the difference between sort of flexibility and the strength you get with the two different materials. Um, so first of all let's destroy the uh, PLA. It should be fairly straightforward, fairly easy. So it, um, we can actually stretch it quite well. It starts to give a little bit. It takes quite a bit to destroy it. This is two perimeters and three solid layers at the bottom. Okay, so that sort of destroys and flips a bit and shatters. But it's pretty strong, it's a good, good layer lamination and uh, no real problems there so it's quite a strong hard material okay now we're going to try the, uh, the nylon 618 now we can see that um, this is a lot more flexible still cracking a little bit I think that's just as the uh, little sort of gives them okay so I'm going to try and turn it inside out see if I can cut it cracking a bit that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna have to use some tools. Ooh. Okay, well we've got a bit of finally got a bit of delamination there. But it sort of tears. You have to pull it pretty hard. This was printed at 235 degrees C. The actual printed parts are actually going to be impossible to break that. <sighs> yep. Stretches, but it's going to be very difficult to break that.
Not even sure. I'm not sure that would tear. Even if you twist it, oh yeah, if you twist you can just get a little bit cracking. I think you're probably the only way you're gonna do that is by cutting it. And you can pull the layers apart. It's still quite tricky. Maybe. No, that's not going to break. Okay, so then maybe uh, maybe the only way to do this is to cut into it. See if I can tear across. Yeah, it's going to tear. Okay, so you can sort of tear a nylon, but it's quite tricky to. It's break on its own without that first cut. Well, it's pretty good material. Nice and flexible, nice and strong. And the delamination um, of the layers uh, only really happens when you're very, very low temperatures. And even then, if you're going at a slow speed, you can get very good lamination. So I think we're going to leave it there. But it uh, just gives you an idea of the strength of the printed 618 nylon.